Hi guys! Welcome to Wake Up With Jay. It's, oh boy, March the 20th. I got a show today. I'm having another great day. Sun is shining. Today we can wear a light jacket outside. So it's a very positive day. So look, let's not waste any time. Let's start out with Jay's quote for today. It says, nothing will ever be attempted if all possible objections must first be overcome. It's so short, i got to read it again. Nothing will ever be attempted if all possible objections must be overcome. That's by Samuel Johnson. I can think of saying it another way. There was a guy sitting at a stoplight in Boston. The light was red. He wanted to get across town to the football stadium. Okay? In his mind, he said, well, I can get there faster if I sit here and just time it just right. I'm going to wait until I think all the lights are green and I'm going to hit the gas and I won't have to stop along the way. There won't be any detours. I'll make it. Guess what? He missed the game. Okay? So, Samuel Johnson is trying to say this. Go ahead and start. Take your chances. Let's see what happens at the next light. It might be green and you might have to slow down a little bit. It might be red. All right? Don't worry about it. Life is fun. Now, Jay's motivational helper for the day. We're still in the um, uh, the five laws of success, and this is number three. Please bear with me. This is beautiful. It's the law of positive attitude. So what they're saying here, the way we think is the way we perform. Your attitude is everything. It is how you see things around you. How to deal with the situations you face and what you think about life itself. Your attitude, okay? Listen to yourself. If you sound like, God, my life is so difficult. I will never be rich. Everything works against me. Everyone hates me. You've got a serious problem. <laughs> Believe me, okay? Uh, we cannot control the obstacles, but we can control your attitude. Your attitude, your mental, it all starts with the mind. Positive attitude and optimism work like a magnet for success. If you maintain positive attitude, no matter what the situation is, success will come to you automatically. You're telling your mind you're going to be successful. Even failure has a lot of positive things in it itself. You learn a lesson from your failure, and next time you won't make the same mistake. So it's okay to fail, okay? Actual success, only after a certain number of failures, it never comes instantly. You have to fail in order to succeed. Every failure still brings you one step closer to your success. I've been in sales for over 30 years, okay? I've had trophies, a lot of successful years. How many times do you think I have to face the word no, okay? It's a part of life, okay? Get used to it. Don't worry about it. Now here are a few tips to help maintain that positive attitude. First of all, you need to start out by listening to yourself. Remember we talked about having that quiet moment? Listen to yourself. Start to listen to your thoughts, ideas, beliefs, and commentaries. Every time you think something negative, think again. Try to find something positive in the situation. I believe in every situation there are two sides, positive and negative. Try to focus on the positive one. Let me give you something that really happened to me. This is very serious. This was um, I started going, this had to be 95, I believe it was, the summer of 95, okay? I was at a T in the road. This is for real, a T in the road. I did the norm, I looked left, looked right, went to pull out. There was a truck there. It took off the front end of my car, okay? Somehow in my mind, I had saw that truck with its right blinker on turning to the right. There was nothing behind it. Is why I pulled out. Okay, that driver said and proved to the police that his next stop was straight ahead. I can't tell you what happened, but I can tell you this: I jumped out of that car. And the first words that came out of my mind was that God has something for you to do. Believe me, it got my attention. All right. So listen to yourself. That's very important. The next one. Some of you like this one. It says, get enough sleep. It seems obvious, but many people don't get enough sleep at, the, at night. 
As a result, they wake up tired and depressed. Right amount of sleep will boost your energy. You'll be able to do things you plan to do without getting tired or overwhelmed. So folks, do me a favor, get some sleep, okay? Put things in perspective. If you find yourself getting stressed or frustrated, take a step back. Look at the bigger picture, okay? If your stress, uh, is your stress really worth it? No. Are your problems that big? No. Most of the time, our problems don't seem that important when we take a look at life as a whole. If you think you have a problem, anytime you think you have a problem, and this just happened, just for a second, stop and think about the people who live in Haiti and what just happened to them. Oh, now you don't have a problem, right? Okay? This is what I mean, okay? Take a break. Sometimes the only solution is to, to take away from it all. It doesn't matter if your break is a trip in a car or vacation in the Bahamas. Ah, I'd love to do that right now. Even a walk around the block can do wonders with your mood. If you don't have time at all, here's a 30... Okay, I'm going to skip that one because you got to go to another website. Okay, but just, just, just relax. I don't care if you just sit down and just close your eyes, okay, and just do what we call a power nap. All right? I don't care if it's 15, 20 minutes. You'll wake up just as re refreshed. Take a walk outside if you work from home. Walk around the block. Walk down the street. Folks, it does work. It says, every time you think about something, choose a positive attitude. It will make your life happier and will attract success you are looking for. That is number three for today. And I really play, pray with all my heart that you got something out of it. Okay, the one thing I can't do is work the buttons and look at you at the same time. So please bear with me when I'm not looking at you eye to eye. I really wish I could do it the whole time. Okay, look, go out, get out, do something, whatever you do. Okay, stay positive. All right, go out and bless someone today and tell them Jay said hi. Okay, see you tomorrow. God bless.